So today is day three, 23rd of May. Beautiful morning, 19 degrees. A little bit nippy this morning when we first set out, but uh, hopefully the weather will stay good and we won't have any rain. And we'll bring you some good footage. I'll check back with you in a few minutes. Well, we met up in Guenos and uh, or Guenos and uh, had a coffee, picked everybody back up, and we're back on the road now. We're on the BI 636 for about seven kilometers. Working our way up to Picos de Europa. I believe everybody's back there. I'll uh, I'll fall back in a minute and uh, check and make everyone make sure everyone's there. Yeah, we're riding on the BU 542 now. Just took a little, you know, side route. You know how uh, Google Maps will sometimes show you an option and it'll say it's. Uh, you know, five minutes faster or slower, something like that. Well, this one had us uh, give us a right, said nine minutes slower, but I thought we'd take it to see which way it went. It's always fun to take these little side shoots. Eventually working our way over that way. Not the co Popo, is it? Yeah, sure it is. Yeah, so this little country road that we um, detoured onto is just beautiful. Pavement's not as smooth, but it's nice and curvy and winding through the countryside. It's really, really pretty. And it's going to go up over a couple of passes. This is something that you'll see. Cattle on the road. Come on. <laughs> Come on, old girl. You can do it. Keep going. She don't know where to go. Thank you. Come on, don't follow mama. Eh, well, we got the cows first, the sheep are next. Hey, old girl. You guys need a bath. This guy's smart. He herds them from a car. Those, yeah, mountain sheep, goats, fuzzy chickens, I don't know what the fuck they are. Yeah, go real uh, slow without much engine through here to keep from spooking them. Yeah. Hola! Let's see, we got a few of them back there. Boy, when Angus comes by on that Harley, that's going to spook them. <laughs> I'd almost want to stick back and watch that. This has really turned out to be quite a beautiful uh, route. Again, this is the, uh, well, we're going to the N623. I'm not sure what road this is on. I think whatever it was I mentioned earlier, BU something. I'll have to go back and check. But it's such a peaceful drive through the Spanish countryside.
14 and a half degrees. Got the thermals back on today. Feel very comfortable though. Quite a bit different than what we've seen over the last two days. stunning look over there wow up here and regroup. Yeah, we got to stop here. This is a photo place right here. We're entering Cantabria. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. Should we go up? We'll wait at the corner. Go. I'll send Sergey. We'll wait for you in the corner. So uh, Rob and Sergey are going to go up that uh, off-road path over there. We'll wait in the corner a few minutes for them. Look at this. Holy moly. That's fantastic. Wow. Oh, my God. This could be, no, I, I can't say, one of the most beautiful places in the world because I've been to some places that are so beautiful. This just happens to be one of many. I kind of imagine this is what New Zealand would look like. I've never been to New Zealand, so I can't say. But, uh... You know, from watching the movies like The Hobbit and things like that, the topography is very similar. Oh yeah, they're going up. At least Rob is. I see him over there, halfway up. So we're just going to take it easy, cruising down. We're in no hurry at all don't want to rush through this beautiful land it is so stunning I just want to stay here for a while just going to ease down slowly and oh look over there you can see how the water had come down through there and washed that area out 
Oh my gosh. the CA-631. I gotta remember this one. This goes on the list. get the drone out and do some drone work here but just really can't uh, take these guys time to do it I'd rather do it at the hotel Angus over there. I'm speechless. I see these a uh, couple little farms as we've driven by have had signs on them, se vende, which means uh, for sale. <laughs> and I'm sitting here thinking like, I want to buy one. I mean, you know, it, ah, what a place to just... Now granted, unless it's sunny, and of course being down here in the valley like this, you're not gonna have a lot of sun in the day be short days cold in the winter I'm sure I'm so happy uh, the guys are enjoying this Sergey is really enjoying it I'm sure everybody is unfortunately uh, Rob and Erwin leaving us tomorrow they can stay on because they're going to miss some of the best I think some of the best in Picos yes yeah, so everybody's regrouped they're a little ahead had to put my gloves on still got 11 kilometers on this road but uh, absolutely fantastic Candolius. 
Candolius. Got to remember that. CA 263 in Cantabria. Sergey's happier than a pig and shit. I love his enthusiasm. Back on the N26 uh, 623 now, and uh, continuing on towards Picos. It's 20 degrees. We might be going back up in the mountains though, so I'm gonna bite the bullet and stay with the thermals. Twelve kilometers here, and we pick up the CA-170. Wow. Beautiful little village. Now we're on the CA-170, and we're going to run this one for about uh, 8 kilometers. That will actually stay, it looks like we'll stay on the CA-170 for a bit, even through the roundabout. Beautiful pavement, great twisties, and good scenery. So get over here, CA-170 in Cantabria. Look at this beautiful bridge here. The Rio Basaya. Basaya, Basaya, Basaya. <laughs> you know I'm coming. Hopefully they went on the N6, no they're right here, on the N611 here. 